Shiba Inu fam, what is happening? What a great day here for Shiba Inu. We had a great live stream this morning. I'm here to talk to you about what this actually means and what kind of indicator this is for us as investors when we see Shiba Inu doing what it did here this morning, essentially out of nowhere, right? Uh, just last night, this thing was being traded in a tight range, you know, in that uh, eight zero range, even in the seven nine seven eight range, and all of a sudden, just crazy amounts of volume here this morning, and all of a sudden, we're up thirty percent in the last twenty four hours. One thing Shiba Inu has always provided us with is kind of a pulse check on retail investors' confidence levels. Right. So I was just reading some articles recently here this morning saying that most of the money coming into the market over the last 48 hours has been retail money, not institutional money. And a lot of that uh, is because people don't want to miss the bottom. They think now because everything bounced off of the bottom just a couple of days ago that maybe now we're back into a bull run and they don't want to miss the bottom. Right. They're trying to time the market a little bit and they're having a little bit of FOMO. We don't know if we've already hit bottom, right? Some people say we will go lower. Other people say we've already hit bottom. We don't know exactly, right? I don't have a crystal ball, right? That's why I just dollar cost average into Bitcoin and Ethereum right now and slowly but surely adding on to some of my favorite altcoins like SHIB and others, right? Because I'm playing the long game on these. I'm not good enough to time the market, right? However, Shiba Inu has always been a huge driver, right, of, again, taking a pulse on retail confidence, right? So if we dive into this chart here, we could see that SHIB right now still up about 30%. It has been trading in a tight range here, tight window for the past couple hours. Earlier this morning, huge, huge run-ups, as you can see here. Uh, these are three-minute candlesticks, by the way. Uh, that yellow line you're looking at right there, that is the 20-day moving average, which uh, nicely situated just above that right now uh, as we crossed it. Uh, over, you know, this morning here, we started going parabolic here earlier this morning. Now, the other thing with SHIB here that we're looking at here, a lot of the whales are in Shiba Inu. We know that, right? Ethereum whales really like SHIB because they have a huge pile of liquidity. That's why Ethereum whales like it. And when the market runs, Ethereum runs hotter than ETH. So essentially, the smart money can double up the amount of ETH that they own by being in Shiba Inu, right? So not only do you have the retail money that is interested in SHIB, and really that's been the driving force here over the last 48 hours, you also have the Ethereum whales that move into SHIB because of the uh, you know uh, nice liquidity pile there and because of the upside SHIB presents institutional investors. So with that being said, this is a good indicator of where retail uh, money and their minds are right now, okay? Of course, in cryptocurrency, the minute you start thinking something's going to happen, the opposite happens, right? Expect the opposite to happen in crypto. Uh, so exactly kind of what happened today. Many expected the market to, you know, dump over the past 30 hours or so. And uh, here we go. Shiba Inu's up 29% and we're enjoying a really nice rally. So, but keep in mind, Retail money and institutional money are both in Shiba Inu, and they both play a significant role in what's built this powerhouse that is now a top 15 crypto here today. Let me know your thoughts about all this down below. If you agree, disagree, I want to hear from you down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you all in the next video.